Hi, this is a short guide on how to downgrade the files from your Steam release of Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 to be the proper 1.0.0.8 Epic Game Store version for use with certain older mods uh, for Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, most notably Kingdom Hearts Critical Mix by Zendra. Uh, so what you're going to do first is extract this uh, 1.0.0.8 files.zip into the folder where you want uh your uh egs you want you want this installation to be in so we're going to copy those over go back and now we are going to copy according to our little readme here we're going to extract patch.zip into the x delta folder and click replace all when prompted Now that that's done, we're going to go over to Steam, right-click on the game, list it in your Steam library, and click Properties. Click on Installed Files, and click on Browse. So now we're going to go over to the uh, Image folder. We're going to copy to the original folder in here. The setting menu.hed and setting menu.pkg files. And now we're going to go into the DT folder and we're going to copy every file with KH1. So all of these, if you sort by name, all these are going into the original folder inside of the X Delta folder of the first zip. After the files are done copying, double click apply patch windows dot bat and run it. Press any key to continue, just press uh, any key, spacebar. This will take a little while. After the patcher is done, press any key to have it automatically close. Go to the output folder and copy all of the files that start with KH1 or cut, I suppose, and go over to the image folder, EN, and paste it. Go over to the X Delta output folder again, get the setting menu dot uh, hed dot pkg files go over to the image folder and paste these here so now the image folder should look like this once that's done go over to your steam installation of the game go over to the steam folder DT, and go over to the Epic folder in your new installation of the game, uh, the Epic Games one, Epic, EN, and copy the KH1 movie folder here. Once that's done, you want to block the executables in this folder from accessing the internet through your firewall. You can do this by going into your Windows uh, Start menu and typing in Firewall and clicking Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. Bring up this screen and you can manually add uh, 
inbound and outbound rules blocking all of these exe files from accessing the internet individually or you can run the included batch file that says block games and firewall.bat but it must be run as administrator to work so if you don't feel comfortable with running this as an administrator uh, you can block the files manually in Windows Firewall. For the purpose of the demonstration, I'm just going to run as administrator on the batch file to block the games. All right. Once that's done, you're going to see a folder that says copy contents to documents. So you're going to want to copy uh, the contents of that folder, this Kingdom Heart the uh, this Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 plus 2.5 remix folder into your documents folder on your computer. I don't need to do this, I've already done so. But this just sets up the scripts folder for Kingdom Hearts 1. Now you should be able to launch Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Test to make sure it works. Looks good to me. I'm going to close the game now. Everything previous to this was how to get a uh, 1.0.0.8 Epic Games install of Kingdom Hearts fi 1 Final Mix from the Steam version using the patch I included. Now this is going to be the part of the video where I talk about how to install mods that are only compatible with this version of the game such as Zendra's Critical Mix. The Lua backend, uh, the Lua backend uh, plugin is already all set up and ready for Critical Mix. Uh, it uses the correct version because a lot of versions of Lua backend are very finicky. A lot of them <coughs> seem not to work properly with this mod, but I've already set up in this folder the one that works. So, we're going to go over to Nexus Mods. This is the Kingdom Hearts Critical Mix Plus page. Download both of these files. And also download the resources.zip. Hit Control F, type in resources, and click this link to download the resources.zip. And place this folder in your Epic Games uh, installation folder as well. In the Epic Games Kingdom Hearts. Final Mix installation folder right here. We're going to want the most recent version of KH1 PC Patch Manager, which is also right here in the Epic when the Nexus Mods page. So download this executable. Paste it into the folder as well. And also paste into that folder the criticalmix.kh1 PC patch file.
Now you want to get the scripts folder for Critical Mix Plus. And now you want to paste all of these into your documents, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix under scripts and drag and drop them into your KH1 folder. Uh, I have this uh, separated from my uh, other KH1 install in its own CMix folder. Which you can do by opening the Lua backend.toml file inside of your Epic Game Store installation of the game with Notepad or Notepad++. Going to the second line and changing the folder name under paths, uh, under the path for scripts slash whatever folder you want to use. By default, in the zip file that I've uploaded, uh, it is kh1. Uh, so for me, this is going to be uh, the cmix folder. So I'm going to change this to cmix. You might want to do this if you're losing, if you're already using Lua backend on the latest uh, Steam version of Kingdom Hearts One, and you don't want to interfere with the scripts uh, with that uh, installation. So you can use the new mods with the Steam version and uh, the mods for Critical Mix at the same time by doing this. So I'm going to save that, close this. I also recommend for Critical Mix dragging the Atlantica Good Combat, Atlantical Model, and Enemy Rando Lua scripts into their own other folder that's called CMix Disabled. The reason for this is that the you might not want the enemy randomizer on while you're playing the game. Uh, I don't. I personally don't like having it on if I'm not doing a uh, a run where uh, that's the focus for me. And the Atlantica Lua scripts uh, tend to make Atlantica a little bit buggy. They make it so that you can't uh, interact with stuff in the environment. So I recommend placing these in a separate folder. Cmix underscore disabled. Uh, if you would like to have these Lua scripts on while you're playing the game, uh, feel free to drag them into your uh, Critical Mix scripts folder. I'm not going to do that. Uh, so now we're finally ready to patch our 1.0.0.8 uh, installation of the game with uh, Critical Mix. So we're going to drag the KH1 PC patch file onto the KH PC patch manager executable. And we're going to ensure that we have the resources dot, uh, dot zip, uh, the folder inside of that extracted as well. So there should be a resources folder right here. So now we're going to drag the KH1 PC patch onto KH PC patch manager dot exe. Uh, it says uh, five for me in parentheses. I just we downloaded this file a few times before. And now command window will pop up. And now we are going to go over to our image folder. Click on the EN folder and we're going to drag it onto the command window. And now we're going to hit enter to begin the patching process. And this will also take a little bit of time. All right, once it's finished, it will say done, and there will be no more text being printed to this command window. We can just hit enter and it will close. And now if we go to this folder, you're gonna wanna run the game by just clicking uh, Kingdom Hearts Final Mix.exe, make a direct shortcut, the uh, launcher uh, .exe and uh, this, executable here. These uh, won't work if you try to boot the game from here. Uh, this wait tile project is also uh, not going to work, so you just want to launch the game by double-clicking Kingdom Hearts Final Mix.exe.
So now Critical Mix Plus is fully installed. Press the F2 key on your keyboard to bring up the uh, command window for Lua Backend Hook. Make sure it says Lua Backend Hook version 1.7.3 hook. And make sure it's initializing all of the uh, Critical Mix Lua scripts. So it seems to have successfully uh, initialized all these different scripts. Now we should be able to start a new game just fine. Make sure the game difficulty level says Beginner, Critical, and Master. Uh, I always like to start a new game just to make sure that the full motion video uh, is fine. That's fine. Cutscene works. Camera field of view works. Style menu works. Everything is working as expected. Just to be sure for me, I'm going to open the game again and load one of my known uh, working uh, Critical Mix save files. Everything looks as expected. So now Critical Mix is fully set up and ready to play. Alright, now that Critical Mix is working, we can go over to our X Delta folder. We can just delete this whole thing. We don't need it anymore. Also, if the uh, game didn't work or it had some issue, uh, you can go over to the image folder, go to EN, and copy all of the files in this backup folder to the EN folder uh, above it. This backup folder was made by the Critical Mix, uh, by, by the KHPC patcher uh, for Critical Mix. Sometimes the patcher doesn't work uh, on the first time or it misses something, so if it does that, just, just copy those files from backup uh, into here and replace one prompted, and then just uh, run the patcher again. Don't double click the patcher uh, exe. If you double click this patcher uh, exe, uh, it'll bring up this screen. This is not what you want. Doesn't work. When testing the game, I recommend playing up to Traverse Town, uh, just the beginning of it, and walking through the accessory shop door. This tends to be a part of the game where a lot of uh, people's uh, like uh, like patches crash if they didn't patch correctly. So if you're able to get here, uh, you're probably good. <laughs> 